poverty cursed is the ground for your sake. Saka mariste de kurela hasha pa vano akarela hasha tsake to the ground. She can say thorns and thistles who emerge. Mari shizwere kuti mari pa akasika zvino zvose akapedza kuzvisika. Ana kunge akasika means go muswa mu 6 days. Akasika nini? Okay. Means why are you going to eat a Means why are you going to eat a mirror? Why are you going to eat a mirror? So the ground became a cursed thing because of our transgression. Now the problem is the ground is the source of our livelihood. That's why now we have to sweat to have food. Because we are taking food from a cursed environment. So there is much energy required now to access the minerals, to access food from the same ground that has been cursed. Don't you see? Don't you see okay. Then we go fast forward to chapter 4 of Genesis mm. and starting from verse 10. When Cain had killed his brother Abel, mm. God says to Cain, what have you done? Listen. <laughs> I'm hearing a words of revenge. Coming from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood, which means the earth that we're stamping on is highly spiritual to the extent that it has got a mouth that swallows come things. On, come on, Remember Korah and Data and yep. the clan? Yep. They were taken by the earth. So you can see, it has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood. Right? Now you are cursed from the ground. No, now Cain was not cursed by God. He was now cursed by the ground. No, once when you till the ground, from today it shall not yield its strength unto you. A vagabond and a fugitive shall you be on the face of the earth. Pauchari my way. So you must know that the first element has got power to give you its strength. In a capacity. Do not give this person any yield. defile the ground. So this one is a cursed man. the ground. So from today, you shall know you shall it shall not yield its strength unto you. A vagabond and a fugitive. I don't say a vagabond. Is a person who is of no fixed abode. Mona snape kukara panonzi pake. Anoti mu five months the watasanga na nai. Anoku uta uta anoku gara ku seven different types of places. Kosi ni sese andrake kwa muzumani sokora ndo ah ndo aku mfumbi mazor. Aku mfumbi kuchi uta ah. Pane angu tamu kapa kwa muzuma pesa kanga sungo si ana na zonika taina ni zonika na anu. Sana ni kuchi mfako sa wale ndo ya next week. Next to come and argue that ah no, Mazarin took a humbari. It's a vagabond. Ah, nam chimbo inonzi. This is the place. Uma wajo ni uta ano to ano to shika pamba. Asida kutanga asida asida kubadara rent. Maria ke gotambiwa. Agonzo yemi se jin. Ase no tra jin. Kuna mama ne oso chaga imba. Agotambiwa Maria ke fit. She goes but ah nango nango short one now. Pa ano to kapa no do apa Maria. Imi chipinda. Pa uku shika. So the earth is rejecting this person. The earth is rejecting this person. You, if you check with the Leviticus chapter number 18, verse number 25, yeah. from I think from verse number 24, God is telling these people, the Israelites, you are entering this land of the Canaanites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, etc. Not because you are better than them, but because they have defiled the land. They have broken the ordinances of the Lord. They have done things that have caused the land to reject them. So they are being vomited. That's why you peasants, peasant farmers, you are able to conquer them in war. Why? Because it's not you that are driving them. It is the land that is vomiting them. <laughs> so you must understand that when now the, the, the curse is coming from the ground and you are being vomited, people who drive you out are not even worthy of driving you out. Because 
Visa Jim Banjim. So what to tell us out in such in the Visa Banjim way? Mon Anoko replace up a bassa or come Tarisa. Ah, Zire, Anton Zingard did this way. You all know Gona, who sing up that position. She should be taken. The land is not yielding its strength to you. A vagabond and a fugitive. I don't say a fugitive, a mutizi. Remember that, that, that word of curse that God spoke and said, you shall be running without anyone chasing after you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are always suspecting people. Even when I got that way, I could offer something. You know, go suspect us of one on of us in general. If you go to Ruku, you you are running away from your destiny. Why? Because the land has not yielded its strength unto you. I want you to know that the ground is highly spiritual than what you can ever think of. Don't think that this is more canal. The ground stands as a witness. Go and check number seven, number five. Yeah, yeah. Start from verse number eleven, going there. Kudara shayinzi kanam zima waita upomwe. Ndogo vapa shayika evidence. Yekuta aita upomwe, but ona chita aita chet. Shayinzi aifa na kuenda kumprisita. Mprisita waifa na kutora mvura. Another element. Otora ivu. Zoksanga niswa. Opi wa kute anwe. Kana achinga haka jita achiramba. The, she will start to swell. Mm. Mawoko ni makumbo. Lumburo shimba. Asika na asina. Nothing will happen to them. Do you know what it means? It means the earth stand also as a witness. Which means you must not delight in doing things in secret without anyone noticing you. Yet you are standing on the ground. <laughs> that yeah. ground will testify against you. Amen. That's why you see when Moses was talking to the children of Israel in the, in the wilderness, he said, I'm calling upon heaven and earth to, to stand together as a witness against you. That's it. Kutisaru mshaita. Earth shall record. Kutibano, awati basha rushimila Jehovah. Kanatibata basha rushimila Jehovah. We spoke when we were talking about cases of the land mm -hmm. from Jeremiah chapter number 22, from verse number 29. The Bible says, O earth, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, write ye this man, childless, a man that shall not prosper in his days, nor any of his sons shall prosper, sitting on the throne of David or reigning anymore in Judah. What is it saying? This is Jeconiah Arukukeswa, but I ask Kukeswa directly. Chirukukeswa, and Chirukupua Kes, Ilend. Yet he had seven sons. But the land is recording that he is childless. He was a king. But he was a prosper in his days. Well, yet when one is a king, they are operating at the pinnacle of prosperity of that land. There is no other throne beyond being a king. But there is a writing on the ground that this man shall not prosper all, all the days of his life. What does it mean? It means things must go down for him. The land who asked, where is Jeconiah? So he's on the authority. So he's actually going to keep up. The name of records. He's going to take a time. He's going to have fun. 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 Hakuna. Hakuna mana wa Jeconiah. Anufa anushanda pa yika. If it means uh, the earth is going to take action, it means mana wa Jeconiah must die. Manawajokonaya must become a vagabond. Jokuta akwani seka na utengira baba wake sutu. Kuitra uti baba wake wafanele ni munu. Asina mbilaka zwara mbupeni wake. So I might be talking to someone right now. Not ii haka keswa but anambaba baba kanzi. Awana mwana. Iyo waka zwara iwewe. Saka uneta ndi usipo. Iwe uripo. Nyamba land yaka piwa assignment. Which means the land knows whoever is working on it. You know. These things are known among us, but they are not known among us. That is true. That is true. <laughs> you understand? That is true. That's it. Whatever they are going to do with that land will have an effect on your life. Which means it power sika land in a recorder. Kutu choka rutoka size ten. Jotimunaka to tora ipapo. 
Afara na nemuna tora choka ya tonde. Iye tonda ni choka yo. It records whoever stems on it. Listen to me. That's why when you go kunganga, akuna akapinda akafeka magambuzo. Akuna anoshika pakrawa akafeka maningi kima use. You must remove them so that the element, which is called the earth, must record that you've been there. It must register. It must register that you've come. You've come. Yeah. And you, are, you must understand something. Some of these people, they don't see. But they know how to read mm. what the nature records about people. So about no pinam territory yake, land will tell them about you. They will tell you everything happening in your life. Everything concerning your generation. Why? Because the land stands as a witness against humanity or for humanity. Saka so uno ita jazi ya murima, ushita una no kuona. You are wasting your time because you are stamping on the greatest witness ever. Anema records. Anonyora. What happened to Jeconiah? Three months and ten days later, God raised a man from the Chaldeans. His name was Nebuchadnezzar. Ndoku fauya. And he had to put Jeconiah in chains. Why? It is recorded on the ground. Sagadamu tziko, no itika manji. Ndereguti, iwewe, ukapinda dambu tziko. Because, Pasta wako, Bishop wano kutisa shunishu. Iwewe ndo unenda unosu waka didi farenzi. Yeti masu wano wano ataka upenyu wako, awacha ataka ewe wano uza land. What to do against you? Saka iwewe ndo uja nusu waka didi farenzi. Osita ikoko. Onamatiwa, what can I read the money? What sins in here? Are you good? Because I are you But you go back to your life, nothing works. Why? Because you do not know how you, you were bewitched. You do not know how the case, the case came into your life. It is because the land is an element that holds life together. Everything else, you know, Land knows what happened when you're not born. Land knows what's happening hmm. in those secret places. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is. Uh, <laughs> uh, we've got we've got seven minutes left. If you're just joining us, we are in uh, Soul Food. Comes through every Tuesday, and with me in the studio is Bishop Musa Kamisola. And today's uh, topic is the four elements of nature. We are live streaming on Facebook. Please go through, check us out, ask a question, drop a, que uh, uh, a comment, or just simply say, Ish, can I want that one in Shoko? You want Ish, because very poor, but one Shoko. We'll take a break, we'll be back. Hey! Hey! Dosakatiri <laughs> Kana mwana ashita mwezini tana atu ajarwa. Anu kwa nisa kupiwa kume kujika kwa kasi ya naziana. Kunilu kwa gaziru wa pamba, kuchisha nisa chikafu, chino nyanyo jigiwa ni mwili yesi. Mwono kuruziru wa kutevera jwa kanyuru wa marini ni magazirirwe, ni mapirwe anufanira kuitu wa mwana chikafu. Magazirirwe ni... You can get in touch with the Bishop Musa Kamisola. Bishop will give you his contact details before we wrap it up for today. Over to you, Bishop. Okay, for those who want to talk to us, uh, we need a prayer counseling. And those who want to attend our services, we are also in Chitungwiza in Unit N, Panam uh, Get in touch with me on 773-348-826. or 773-115-025. Okay, 773-348-826. Three four eight eight two six. You can get in touch with us there. Then we we we, we can talk and have more uh, to, to to discuss. God bless you. Let's continue. And we are back. It's four minutes to go to the news at ten o'clock. Still in soul food. And Bishop Musa, I think we need to wrap it up <laughs> with this hot. 
topic. I thought you were going to lay a foundation. Now you're taking me to church. I'm I, pulling I out notebooks. I don't know yeah. what to do with myself. My goodness, the four elements of nature. That's earth, wind, water, fire. And today we are focusing on earth and we are live streaming on our Facebook page at Star FM Zimbabwe. Good morning. And he said, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Which means this land, you know, 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 the good that it has to those who are willing and obedient to the word of God. So, do not worship idols. Whatever he is saying, if you do those things, no violate the principles and the ordinance of the earth. And that's where your produce comes from. Sign what to resist you. You cannot prevail against it. You cannot have something to eat that does not come from the ground. And there is this that I want to share with you. I said, God, but why did you do that? You know, <laughs> to the snake, Zakanji, you have been cursed over other animals you shall eat of the dust and then don't you can worry with you can worry a car kuna revelation chapter 12 which is the devil no vanzi what it is you will which are sick at musoro in york no vetas advantage but no vanzi because you are dust that's where you shall go back that is Genesis chapter number three. So dust. The snake was given also authority to eat of the dust. And you are a product of the earth. That's why you cannot manage, you cannot afford to live on the earth. Who see a spiritual connection and expect to prevail over the devil because you are dust. She not quit a spiritual being is to her, to connect your spiritual antenna with the spiritual God. So the, the more you become spiritual, the more you become untouchable to the devil. But the more you become carnal, you are food for him because I can't he shall eat the dust. You are He's good. Yes, you are a product of the of the dust. Saka Kugara Chete Usinamari. Because you are subject to the church, you are subject to the church. Dust you are, and to dust you shall return. So if you want to overcome, you need Jesus in your life. That's why we preach the gospel now. But you must know also that there was someone also who authority over the dust. So you must understand the law of the earth in your life. As a human being. Kwa zakuwa na ngoi. Nguva ndo ta end. It's okay. Kwa chuo. You know what? Uh, I, I, I don't even know how to wrap this up. All I can tell you is follow this series until it ends. Earth, wind, water, fire. The four elements of nature with the BMC Bishop Musa Kamisola. Star FM sounding good all the time. 10 o'clock. Time for the news.